I'm Carol Emig, President of Child Trends, the nation's largest independent research center devoted exclusively to studying children and youth. We're here today to share the findings from a new report from Child Trends, Homefront Alert, the risks facing young children in military families. This report raises some important troubling issues related to military families, particularly issues related to the 500,000 young children in military families with one and in some cases two parents in active service. Joining me today is David Murphy, Child Trends Senior uh, Research Scientist and the author of this report. David, so why the focus on young children? Are they at greater risk than uh, older children in military families? Well, in some ways they are, Carol. Um, we know that young children um, for them, this is a time when their brains are growing very quickly. They're also particularly dependent on the quality of their relationships with their parents, both the parent who's deployed and the, and the parent who's at home. So the absence of a parent can be critical for, for a young child. At the extreme end, we know that sometimes a child can, can be born even while one parent is overseas and deployed and the father may not even see his, his young child for several months. So from a young child's perspective, this toxic stress or trauma can stem either from a single overwhelming event such as the death of a parent or it can be from an accumulation of multiple stressors such as one parent is absent because they've been deployed, the second parent may be not coping well with being a temporarily single parent. An additional stress could be the the number of moves that um, military connected families often have to make and so it can be the accumulation of those stresses uh, you know, as well as a single overwhelming stress that, that can lead to really lasting changes in the, in the developing brain that can have negative implications for de development further down the line. One of the other statistics that you cite in your report is that uh, as many as one in five service members returning from deployment are coming home with some mental health challenges, whether it's stress, uh, anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Sure, well young children pick up very readily on um, the ways that their parents are coping with stress. They kind of mirror that. In, in more extreme cases, the, we may have a situation where a returning uh, deployed parent may have um, a serious mental illness and there can even be a, be a danger that the child will be, uh, will be a victim of maltreatment mm -hmm. um, if, if the returning parent and or his spouse um, lack the ability to provide sufficient care and safety for children. Child care is a critical form of support that, that these uh, families need. And others are expanded access to preventive care, well child visits we sometimes call them. It's an opportunity for the pediatrician to kind of just uh, check in with the family and see how things are going. And in particular mental health services are a gap. We know from the recent President's Initiative and other reports that have come out uh, highlighting that the real need in this country for better access to mental health services and this is certainly the case for our military connected families as well. Thank you, David, and I want to thank our viewers as well. You can access the report from Child Trends website for free, childtrends.org. We encourage you to read it, to download it, to share it with others. Thank you very much.